Hello and welcome back to an academy. So let's take me PG myself, Dr. Muskan Chaudhary, and uh, we will continue the session as we are going to discuss the question answers <coughs> for the leash mania and cryptosoma. So starting with an academy in the plus category, uh, plus subscriptions, we get the subscription to both the live and the recorded sessions and uh, learning from the India's topmost educator for any mid examination or any other competitive paper. Completing the live TNDs and studying on the device of our choice. Assess up to 25,000 of MCQ with printed and the digital notes that are being provided. Uh, now, on the IQ subscription step, that an academy has come together where we get access to clinical integrated essentials with Q bands and rapid revision snapshots and 2018 dream notes with well structured live batches recorded uh, classes, Q bands, complete TNDs. Under need PG plus category and for two years it is on thirty six thousand rupees that is for one five five double zero and two four three four eight for two years and five eight five double zero fifty eight thousand five hundred for two years for icon subscriptions and do use my code that is muskan ten to get ten percent of further discount. Now 25,000 high yield MCQs based on latest examination patterns and special class features include interactive live sessions, attend the live classes, participate in the live class, do the polling for the learners, raise a hand, talk to educator, never miss a class because we will get the notification for the same and download the lecture notes and attend the live classes, participate in the live chat. Now target need a uh, uh, PG uh, TND batch that is for 2022 and with well structures batches, GTs, clinical essentials, recorded sessions and practice Q banks. With 24 months subscription, 4 months is totally free, with 12 months, 2 months is totally free and with 1 month, one uh, with 6 months, 1 month is totally free and FMG batches that is for 6 months with FMG GTs, live test, recorded sessions, practice Q banks. So we'll start with the question answers now. Yes, we'll start with the first question of the disease that Chagas disease is caused by the Trypnosoma cruzi, Trypnosoma cruzi, Leishmane donovani or Trypnogambians. Is what is the correct answer that Chagas disease is caused by Yes. Easy one, the Chagas, if you remember C4C, that is the cruzi, that is Chagas disease and it is caused by the Trypnosoma cruzi and what was the factor? Factor was the radiovit bug, radiovit bug or the, or the kissing bug or the kissing bug. And definitive host was that the men and the vector was the red big bug and we have the reservoir that were the mammals and the rodents that were the reservoir for that trypnosoma cruzi and what was to remember important we had the acute and the chronic Chagas disease in the acute we had the Chagoma that is what that is the subcutaneous uh, nodules and another important one that is romana's sign which is nothing but periorbital edema periorbital edema that was unilateral and that was painless periorbital edema in the chronic one in the heart it presented with dilated cardiomyopathy and the git that was the mega esophagus and the mega colon now, radiovic bug is the factor for the transmission of the relapsing fever, Lyme's disease, scrub typhus or the Chagas disease.
is e z one that radiovic work radiovic work is the vector for radiovic work is the vector for that of the chagas disease or the trypnosoma cruzi now strawberry cervix is seen in the garnella vaginalis trichomonas vaginalis mycoplasma formis or the neisseria gonorrhea is what is the correct answer strawberry cervix is seen in yes strawberry cervix is seen in strawberry cervix and the strawberry vagina that is seen in the it is seen in the trichomonas vaginalis and remember t4 t that is the uh, trophozoic form is only present there is a no cyst form and t4 t it had the twitching motility twitching motility or the jerky motility and it was due to the undulant membrane that is responsible for the motility and sexually transmitted most common symptom in the male is the urethritis and the cervicitis in the female and the drug of the choice was the metronidazole that was given to both the sexual partners and presented with that of the profuse uh, white discharge and with uh, bad smell along with the strawberry cervix or the vagina and under 10% of the koh Out, we saw for that clue cells. Try uh, strawberry cervix. That is the other name. That is the call pitis macularis. Now, sleeping sickness is transmitted by the CC fly or the house fly, sand fly, or or simulin fly. sleeping sickness or the african sleeping sickness that is caused by the trypnosoma bruzi and what is the vector the vector is the cc fly it is vector is the cc fly we have two type one is the west african sleeping sickness and the east african that is caused by the uh, rodians and the gambians and what else vector is the cc fly and reservoir is the rodent animals and we have uh, three stages one is the uh, stage one where it was the systemic febrile illness and the stage two that was the hemolymphatic stage where we saw the winter bottom sign vector of the kalas are is flea cc fly sand fly or the tick So vector for the kala azar or the visceral leishmaniasis, vis visceral leishmaniasis or the dum dum fever. What is the vector? Vector is the sand fly flea bottomus. That is the vector, and we have it as the 
इंटरमीडिएट होस्ट एंड द मैन एज द डेफिनेटिव होस्ट इन द मैन दैट इज आदमी वी गेट द ए मस्टिक गॉट फॉर्म दैट इज द दैट इज द डायग्नोस्टिक फॉर्म एंड इन्फेक्टिव फॉर्म इज वॉट द प्रोमेस्टिगेट फॉर्म विच इज फाउंड वेर इन दैट द सेंड फ्लाई दैट इज द फ्री बॉटम इज ऑल राइट एंड वॉट एज इम्पॉर्टेंट वी गेट द एल डी बॉडीज विच आज नथिंग बट द ए मेस्टिगॉट फॉर्म इन दैट ऑफ द मैक्रोफेज दैट इज एल डी बॉडीज because the pro mastigate form that transform into the a mastigate form in the macrophage that is known as the ld bodies and in india there is no extra human reservoir for that of the callus or the visceral leishmaniasis now a mastigate forms are seen in the leishman donovan toxoplasma gondii leishmania major or the ant amoeba hi hello yes so what is the answer the a mastigate form will be seen in is even the a mastigate form that is seen in leishmania donovani and leishmania major so a mastigate form that is the diagnostic form and where do we get it we get in admi a for a admi that is in the men and if it was pro mastigate form it was pro mastigate form we found in the sand fly gut or the flea bottomers and in the a mastigate form the nucleus and the kinetoplasts are perpendicular to each other and the pro mastigate form is a long slender one where there it is what they are far apart so here it is nucleus and here we get the kinetoplast drug not used in the visceral leishmaniasis is acetamoxifen paramoxifen or miltiphosin or hydrochloroquine when we talk about the drug of the choice for the leishmaniasis what is the drug of the choice that is the pentavalent antimonials that is the sodium stevo gluconate but not in the west and the bihar where it is the lipid preparation lipid formulation of the amphotericin b and what else is it is given that is the para paramycin and the मिल्टेफोसिन मिल्टेफोसिन सो वी गिव द पैरोमाइसिन वी गिव द मिल्टेफोसिन एंड द सीटा मोक्वीन दैट इज गिवन इन द डेवलपमेंट एज अ ऑरल ट्रीटमेंट फॉर दैट ऑफ द विस्ट्र लीश मैनियस बट हाइड्रोक्लोरोक्वीन इज नॉट गिवन अ ट्वेंटी इयर ओल्ड फीमेल फ्रॉम एफ्रीका हैज एन हिपेटोस्प्लेनिम स्पिनोमिगैली विद पेलॉर एंड जनरलाइज लिम्फेडिनोपैथी लैब टेस्ट इज यूजफुल इन द डायग्नोसिस ऑफ ई एस आर इलेक्ट्रोफोरोसिस पैरासाइड डिटेक्शन एसपिरेट एलाइजा और रूटीन हीमोग्राम
Yes. So, uh, female form the Africa with that of the hepatosplenomy gale with that of the pelor and the generalized lymph adenopathy. So, we are probably talking about what the leash meniasis. So, we, in the leash meniasis, that is, we get the anemia, uh, thrombocytopenia, and typical features of the pencytopenia. And what else? Hyper gamma globinemia. For that, we do the ESR, the parasite detection in the aspirate, and the routine hemogram to check for the pancytopenia and the hyper gamma globinemia. The following test helps in the laboratory dance of colors are except the bone marrow examination, immobilization test, blood smear examination, or the aldehyde test. Yeah, so what is the answer now following test uh, help in the laboratory diagnosis except now we use the Napier's LT height test and the Chopra's antimony test to see for that uh, non-specific test for the serology we use the blood smear examination to check for the hypergammaglobinemia and the pencytopenia we use the bone marrow examination bone marrow aspiration that is a more sensitive and specific test but we do not use the immobilization test Leishmania is cultured in which media? Chocolate agar, triple N media, telluride or the saburoids agar. Leishmania is cultured in easy one that is cultured in the non-specific medias and that is the triple N media that is a McNoy, uh, McNeil and uh, Norway and cultured media that we are using for that of the culture of the Leishmania. Now reservoir of Indian colors is men, canines, rodents or the equine. With respect to India, there is no extra, there is a no extra human reservoir. All right. Now, true about the visceral leishmaniasis is that we get the neutropenia, eso, uh, is eosinophilia, hypergamma globinal lymph adenopathy, and the skin hypertension.
So true about the visceral leash meniasis. More than one will be true. We get the neutropenia, we get the anemia, pancytopenia. We do not get the eosinophilia. Hypergammaglobinemia is there. Lymphadeno is lymphadenopathy is there, and skin hyperpigmentation. Okay, so now we'll discuss the questions about the giardia. Now, starting with the first question, all are true about anatomy history except stool trophozoids are essential for the diagnosis and mostly they are asymptomatic, cause the disease in the brain or cause the disease in the liver. Yes, which of the following statement is true? Stool trophozoite is not essential because we get the or we take the three consecutive stool specimen to get for the antimicrobial trophozoites to form because they are shed intermittently, not uh, continuous. Therefore, they are not essential for diagnosis by one. Only twenty five percent sensitive. Therefore, we take the three specimen so that we get seventy five percent of the sensitivity. Mostly, they are asymptomatic. They cause a the disease in the brain and they cause the disease in the liver. A violence factor that is responsible. For the adherence of the antihistolytica to intestinal mucosa is inophore-like protein, amoeba lectin, phosphatase, or the proteinase. So that is what is the primary violence factor. We have the primary violence factor for the antihistolytica that is the amoeba lectin, that is the addition, and that helps in the addition to that of the gut of that of the uh, host. So that is a primary violence factor. The most common site for me is the sigmoid colon, transverse colon, cecum, or the hepatic flexor. Yes, the most common site for amoebiasis for the antimicrobial it is the cecum, large intestine cecum, followed by that of the sigmoid colon. That followed by that of the sigmoid colon. Investigation of choice for amoebiasis ELISA, colonoscopy, microscopy, or microscopy with that of the ELISA. Yes, what is the answer? Investigation of choice for that of amoebiasis is microscopy with that of the ELISA. Why we are using both the methods? Because microscopy, we take a three stool samples to check for the trophozoid uh, that is the in present in active state and the cyst form that is in the uh, carrier state and the ELISA to check for the amoebic uh, lactin antigen to see for that by the ELISA technique. Number of the nucleus that is present in the mature cyst of the antibiotic history is 1, 2, 4 or 8. That is easy, that is 4 and in case of the E. coli, if the answer then we would, we would have gone for that of the 8. Most common cause of dysentery in the adults are cryptopavin, giardia, strongoloids or the ant amoeba histolytica. Easy one, the most common cause for the dysentery in the adults is what ant amoeba histolytica. Treatment given to antimicrobial carriers is metronidazole, diloxane, deferrot, or furate, or the paromycin, or nitsoxamide. That is for the asymptomatic carriers or the lumen infections, we give the paramomycin. Largest protozoa is Antimhistolytica, Valentidia coli, E. coli or the Plasmodium.
Yes, largest protozoa is. Is even the largest protozoa is Balintidia coli, and it is only ciliated protozoa that is pathogenic to human, and it is the largest protozoa. And to be clear, two are they are mostly asymptomatic, differentiated morphologically from the e-dispo, and they are different from the e-dispo, or uh, spreads by ingestion of the infectious cyst. So two statement mostly they are asymptomatic, not uh, symptomatic, differentiated. They cannot be differentiated morphologically from the e dispersed because the pathogenic and non pathogenic antibodies they are morphological identical, but they can be differentiated antigenically because they have the amoebic lactin, which is a major virulence factor for that of the antimoeba histolytica. Spreads by the ingestion of the infectious cyst. That is also true. Now, a patient presents with the lower GIT bleed. Sigmoidoscopy shows the ulcer, and the biopsy shows the flask-shaped ulcer. What are the which of the following the most appropriate treatment that give IV ceftriaxone or give IV metronidazole, IV steroids, sulfasalazine, or the hydrocortisone and uh, enemas? Question saying about the flask shaped also that is what we are talking about the broad base with the narrow neck. Is का मतलब we are talking about what the end amoeba histolytica end amoeba histolytica. All right, so for that we give the metronidazole and the tinidazole that is the drug of the choice. We are giving the IV metronidazole. Which of the following statement is false? The presence of the ingested RBC aetosat is seen only in the end amoeba histolytica. Young adult men of low socioeconomic status are most commonly affected by the invasive amoebiasis. A low iron content the diet predisposes to the invasive amoebiasis. The pathogenic and the unknown pathogenic strains of the antimicrobial can be differentiated by the electrophoretic study of the zymotines. So, which of the following statement is false? Yes, so just in this fall, the presence of industry RBC is seen only in antimicrobial. This is true because it is always seen in the pathogenic uh, antimicrobial that is the histolytica. Young adult male of the low socioeconomic status are most commonly affected by the invasive amoebiasis. Yes, because children are the main uh, their main uh, age group that is affected, and it is uh, by the fecal route. Therefore, hygiene is the one of the key factor. Iron content has no uh, uh, has no association with that amoebiasis, and the pathogenic and non-pathogenic can. Can be uh, differentiated by one is by erythrophagocytosis, which is only by the histolytica on the presence of the amoebic lactin antigen, which is also present in that of the antimicrobial histolytica as well as zymotene pattern. By the PCR technique. Now, true about the amoebic colitis, it is caused by histolytica cyst contains eight nucleus. Flask shaped ulcer is present. Cecum is most commonly affected, and it is a pre-malignant condition. So, which of the following is a true statement? More than one option will be true in this one.
So true about the amoebic colitis is that it is caused by the antihistolytica. This is true. Cyst contains four nucleus, not eight. Flash shaped ulcer, cecum is cecum followed by sigmoid colon, and it is not a premeaning condition. Invasive amoebiasis can be best diagnosed by the ELISA counter current immune electrophoresis in diet hemoglutination test or the CFT. That is best diagnosed by what? That is by the ELISA technique. Now, acute meningoencephalitis is caused by the acanthamoeba, nagliri, fowlery, or meningococcus or bala mutia. Talking about the acute meningoencephalitis. That is the primary acute meningoencephalitis that is caused by the free living amoeba. We have free living amoeba, nagliri, fowlery, we have acanth amoeba, and the bala mutia. Nagliri is responsible for causing the PAM, that is the primary amoebic meningoencephalitis. Then we have the acanth amoeba and the bala mutia, acanth for the granulomatous encephalitis, and the bala mutia that also causes the meningoencephalitis. All right, so uh, that is uh, nagliri, that is by the inhalation of that of the uh, uh, trophozoid form which moves to that of the olfactory nerve cribriform plate to that of the brain causing the meningoencephalitis which is highly fatal acute condition and there is no treatment and person dies in that of the 5 to 10 days which it is due to swimming in that of the water it is nagliri Fallery. Then we have the patient following use of the contact lens developed the corneal ulcer, conjunctivitis, and they shows the polygonal east saline mount preparation. What should be the probable diagnosis? Yes. So, talking about the conjunctival keratitis, conjunctivitis and after the use of the contact lens for a long period of time and unhygienic condition that is by the acanth amoeba keratitis. We are talking about the acanth amoeba keratoconjunctivitis which is after the use of the contact lens or the washing the contact lens with that of the uh, normal uh, tap uh, water or that of the un un unhygienic condition wearing the contact lens for the long period of the time or use it under the homemade sign preparations leads to the result to that of the anthemia corneal ulcers and the keratoconjunctivitis. Acute primary comorbid conjunctivitis is which of the following statement is true? Meningitis cause a canthem species is acute in nature. Diagnosis by demonstration of the trophozoite in CSF caused by the fecal transmission or it is more common in the tropical culture. So, primary amoebic meningoencephalitis, which of the following statement is true? So it is not caused by the ganthamoeba, but it is causes the because it causes the chronic granulomatous meningoencephalitis. It diagnoses by the trophozoid form, yes, and it is caused not by the fecal oral route. It is more common in the temperate areas. A 30-year-old patient presented with the feature of the acute meningoencephalitis casualty. CSF wet mount shows the motile initial organism. The most likely organism is nagleri, acanthamoeba, antamoeba, or the trypnosoma cruzi. Talking again about the acute, it cannot be a canthamoeba because they cause the chronic and the granulometers meningoencephalitis. Acute is the nagliri flowery with that of the motile, that is the trophozoid form. We are talking about uh, the flagellate or the amoeboid form of the trophozoid form, that is the motile. Now, which of the following is not a neuroparasite, tenia solium, or the canthamoeba nagliri flowery, or the trichinella spiralis?
Yes, what is the answer? Now we have the ganthema causing the chronic glomerulonephritis, encephalitis, or the nagleya causing the primary amoebic meningoencephalitis, and the tinea solum in the form of the cystic sarcosis. Answer will be trichinella. Parasitic encephalitis caused by the nagleya or the ganthema palamutia or nephrostoma. Yes, parasitic encephalitis is caused by it is caused by the all of the because these all are the free living amoebas that mainly that causing the CNS manifestation encephalitis and then we have gynecostoma which is a food borne uh, parasite infection but also causes the encephalitis. Girl visits her friend's village, develops a nasal discharge when gingitis dies in the five days. And what is the organism that is responsible for it? Is it the flowery or the canthin or toxoplasma or the falciparum? Yes, now the so, uh, history, the patient, uh, the question is saying that a girl visited a village, a friend's village, develops a nasal discharge, she developed the nasal discharge and the meningitis and the most important one that she died in the five days that is meaning that it is fatal and with that of the meningitis we are talking about the acute meningitis that is the primary amoebic meningitis by the nagleri flowery and it is highly fatal the patient dies in 5 to 10 days there is no treatment yet known and a canthamoeba it is a chronic condition so patient will not die in just 5 days okay so thank you so much for today's sessions please do use my code that is muskan 10 to get 10 percent of the discount and do like share subscribe and like comment and share i'll see you in the next session so take care and bye bye